guys, it is PXM Gaming here, back for another video in my Call of Duty Mobile series. Today, as part of a special tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to get on the best guns of Call of Duty Season 7. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads and sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so Call of Duty Season 7, which is Biohazard theme, has just been released and has brought some exciting new challenges which you, you can complete to get awesome stuff. The challenge I will be featuring in this video is the COD Season 7 Lock Stock Barrel Challenge, where you can get two versions of the Man of War, an overpowered assault rifle famous in the Call of Duty world for being all the best ARs. Unsurprisingly, a gun this good will also be also as hard to obtain. So in this video, I will cover what multiplayer modes you, you should do, how to complete the challenges like a pro. Most importantly of all, is the mana war worth getting? So I went and complete the entire challenge, and now I will share why I learned doing that. Ideally, if you want to complete this challenge, which is rather long as fast as possible, you should do it as efficiently as possible. Also, unlike previous challenges, this one focuses around kills, which means that you should do a mode that allows you to get as many kills as possible. Season 7 brought a whole new slew of modes, such as Tunisia, Gunfight, and the Return of Gun Games, but I do not recommend these modes, but Tunisia mode is randomly selected, which, along with Gunfight and Gun Games, only allows you to get a, a limited amount of kills. What I do recommend, however, is a kill-focused mode such as Frontline or Team Deathmatch, as you can easily get kills in the double digits. It is also recommended that you pick a map that is not too large, such as Nuketown or Rust, as for close quarters are needing more encounters with enemies. Unless you are doing the sniping challenge, in which case it is advisable, you should not camp, as you will have far fewer encounters of enemies. Instead, you should go up to the very center of action, ideally near a location of good cover in case you are overwhelmed. It is also advisable to carry with you at all times an extended mag, so you don't run out of ammo in the middle of a firefight. Another good strategy that can use to advantage is to be a stalker. The best way is to sneak behind enemy lines and ambush those on the way to the firefight. This tactic works especially well in snipers, as your guns are grossly ineffective at close range. Also, I recommend training on your more experienced guns, on your more experienced guns, as you will know how to use it better. As I mentioned earlier, you have to complete the Call of Duty challenges in order to obtain the overpowered Mana War AR. Since it's one of the, on the best guns in the game, it is not that easy to complete the challenges. However, I do have some advice on how to complete them as efficiently as possible. In the first challenge in the Lock Sock Barrel seasonal event, you have to kill 60 enemies with an assault rifle. For this challenge, I recommend using a powerful gun such as the M4, which is very good for reflex killing. For the second challenge, you have to kill 50 enemies with the M4 LMG. This challenge can be rather hard, as the LMG is a heavy weapon that is not that fast. However, it does have a very big magazine, which can use to your advantage by continuously volleying fire across the map to prevent seek attacks. I also recommend a quick draw and a foregrip to increase your combat advantage. For the third challenge, you have to kill 20 enemies with a pistol. Although it may seem daunting at first, this challenge is surprisingly easy if you do it on a close range map such as Rust, preferably with the MW11, as it is automatic. For the fourth challenge, you have to kill 40 enemies with the PDW57, which is quite easy at close range. For the, for the fifth challenge, you have to kill 20 enemies with the HOASO215 shotgun. This is another hard challenge, as the HSO405 is a one-shot with poor fire rate that requires you to, to have good aim and good reflexes. But, you can easily complete this challenge on a close range of as Rust. <coughs> for the sixth and final challenge, you have to kill 20 enemies with the M21 EBR sniper. This challenge can be very easy if you do not have a sniper-friendly map crossfire, as it provides plenty of cover, allowing you to make easy pickings of the enemies. After completing this challenge, you will finally, after all your hard work, unlock one of the greatest assault rifles in Call of Duty, the Man of War, and also get 5,000 XP toward your battle pass. But you may be thinking, this weapon seems pretty hard to get, is it worth it? Let's find out. As I previously mentioned, there are two kinds of defamed Man of War that you can get from the seasonal challenge. The first kind is the default gun, and the second has the ITRO metric skin, which makes your character more agile. Since the Mana War requires two more challenges to obtain, for this video, I will be reviewing the first Mana War. So, does it live up to a type? 
Yes, apparently. This gun, which ranks him a top tier for CODM weapons, has an insanely high damage and fire rate, making it to ultimate weapon. Although its mediocre accuracy makes it ineffective at long range, it also makes it really powerful at close range. Which brings us back to the question, is this gun worth it? Fortunately this is, and the challenges aren't really that hard, so you have the time and the skill, I highly recommend giving it a try. So there you have it. You now know oh, how good the Mana War is and how you can get it. If I missed anything, feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments below. And I always like to say, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave, like, and subscribe. I'll be uploading new videos every single about Call of Duty and most other games. I hope you benefited from the video, and good luck in getting the Man O' War.